Good evening YouTubers, Sean here from Flipping the Bird. Here I am, sitting in my driver's seat. See? Driver's seat. See? Dash. <laughs> and we started driving this morning about uh, 26 kilometres outside of Armadale in New South Wales. That was at 4am. The reason our little dog, um, Sheena, she's been a bit sick today. She started being sick last night. And what with having to get her up, get up and let her out and then clean up her mess when she was sick and stuff. Um, kind of disrupted the night a little bit. Sharon stayed in bed. And I said, okay, I can't sleep anymore. It was just coming up to 3.30. So I got out. I checked the bluebird. We, we arrived. We arrived in the the periphery of Brisbane about 4 p.m. 3:30, 4 p.m., something like that, this afternoon. And um, in in Brisbane, they have toll roads, which we don't have in South Australia. And apparently, a toll road costs you about eight dollars per toll section. But here in Brisbane we learned today that they charge you that eight dollars per toll section per axle and we've got two on the trailer and two on the bus because she's got a drive axle and a tag axle um, in Wanda Lodge owners group or WOGS terms she's PT 35 and apparently that's what uh, yeah this motorhome was built as out of the Bluebird factory in 1982-3. Anyway, four axles, four eights, thirty-two dollars. Four toll sections, what's that, 130 bucks? Just across Brisbane once? Are you kidding me? <laughs> We're not flush with cash and we're trying to stretch the pennies that we do have as far as we can because of fuel which is not cheap in Australia I'm not sure about the costs in, in uh, Europe but I know that there's a lot cheaper in America here it's like uh, varies between one dollar and nine point nine cents per litre through to in the country areas that we pass through a um, dollar thirty nine point nine cents per litre so you know when you work that out in gallon terms it ain't cheap diesel so we thought we'd have a look at the maps and try and find our way across Brisbane on the non-toll roads and we did <laughs> three times <laughs> it only took us well look we're getting better because like we've said to you earlier it took us what was it a week to cross Adelaide and it only took us three and a half hours to cross Brisbane today. But in the end, what happened was we were on our third go to get across from one side of the river to the other, to get onto the right highway, to go up the Sunshine Coast, to visit Sharon's family. And what happened? Each time there was something that went wrong. Not because we got it wrong, because the maps changed, or the maps are not up to date, or the road that we're going on has not been designated to show that there's a 3.7 meter bridge for a 4.2 meter high motorhome or not to show that oh now this pick this section of the road is a toll road and we got lost we got hopelessly lost so at last attempt Sharon said quick turn left turn left so we turn left and we oh shit I nearly dropped the phone <laughs> So we turned left and we were suddenly in the back streets of a part of old Brisbane that gorgeous little spot, wonderful little streets, but not suitable for a Wonder Lodge with a trailer on the back. So I said, I'll go up here, that's it, we're not looking at the map anymore, we just follow our noses. And we did, straight into a trap. <laughs> and there was a car on one side and a car on the other and a tree in between. And we couldn't get around, you can hear her giggling in the background, because honestly it was by this time. I've been driving since 4am, it's now a quarter to 7. No, actually no, I tell a lie. It was quarter to 6. 
Beg your pardon. And we got stuck. And so I said, look. Seven. No, no, it's only seven o'clock now. Um, I said to Sharon, just go and ask those people to move their car, will you? <laughs> like, you know, that's an easy thing to do, isn't it? And she hesitated. I said, I'll go. She said, no, no, I'll go. So Sharon got out the bus, went and bashed on the door. No, no answer. Second time. Bashed on the door again. No answer. And all of a sudden I heard a... <gasps> and the people in the house were just leaving at the time that Sharon was standing at the door. And they didn't hear it. They didn't hear the doorbell or the knock because they were down the back of the house and the doorbell didn't work anyway. They just happened to be coming out of the house to take their friend to the airport so they could go home. When Sharon told our tale, they said, oh, we'll take you, no worries. We'll lead you the way, you follow us, and and we'll show you how to get onto the right roads to get where you need to go. This is without tolls. This is without knowing us from a bar of soap. This is even though they didn't know that Sharon was going to rob them blind and <laughs> burgle them rotten. <laughs> You're a dick. <laughs> yeah, anyway. You're an we'll idiot. leave that till later. And... That was Donna and... So this is us stuck. And Donna and Fran are going to help us. Is there someone behind us? No. No, no, okay. no not ours. Um, they're unfortunately gone out. Oh, bugger. So we can't get that one shifted. Uh, there was Donna, Marie. Donna, Marie. And Fran. And Fran. Fran. So Donna was doing the driving and Fran. Maria was going to the airport and Fran was the one that I've got her phone number and she directed us and talked us okay. all through it. Okay. So through the windy. My emergency flash stopped working. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is there another way through? We need to get onto another left turn, do we? Um, and then when we've turned left, where yeah, do we... We're going to go right down to the end of the street and we'll hit a main road and then we're going to turn right. Okay. But there might be more cars like here. Oh, okay. That's what it's just... Unfortunately, see, there was a game of uh, AFL on and the, and the big playing fields just over. Oh, of and course. And that's why there's so much okay. traffic around. Even see how you go, you won't be able to get around this corner, you don't think? Alright. I'm just going to go have a look. Okay. Fran was driving. Fran was driving. Maria was on her way to the airport. Maria was the one going to the airport. And Donna was on the phone to me. And Donna was on the phone to Sharon. Saying, look, I'm here, follow me down here, follow me around here, do this. And Sharon's, as she's speaking, she's relaying instructions to me to drive. Because I don't know Spaghetti Junction in Brisbane from a bar of soap. So, <laughs> we get us across town, all because these lovely people accommodate the fact that this dickhead is stuck in a <laughs> 17 and a half ton bus with a one and a half ton trailer on the back, I don't know, it's 18, 20 ton we're pulling at the moment, with all that we've got on board and with the trailer. And we just turned up out of the blue and get stuck in, in, in their street. And they took us via an alternative route because they were going to go through the tunnels and via the toll roads to the airport with their friend. But because we turned up at that moment, at that time, and they were leaving, they decided that they would show us the way out of Brisbane. Because otherwise, if you don't know Brisbane, you'll go there and you'll never be seen again. <laughs> you'll actually have to ring Doctor Who because he's the only man that cro can cross into that dimension to find you. <laughs> and, and I think even him might have trouble. Anyway, I want to say 
to Donna and Marie and Fran, thank you. <laughs> thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We were absolutely bamboozled. We'd had a huge day. As I say, we started driving at 4 a.m. By then it was quarter to six, quarter past six, whatever. And had it not been for their help, we would have been stuck in Brisbane or it would have cost us over 130 bucks because I'm sure I would have stuffed that up as well and we'd have probably gone on the toll roads three times or something ridiculous. So thank you. Thank you, Donna and Marie and Fran. Thank you for your help. Thank you for your guidance. And thank you for giving us faith back in the fact that there are people, there are human beings that at the drop of a hat will do that. I think that's bloody wonderful and it's awesome. Thank you. So, there you go. I don't know how long it's run for. A long time. I hope you can put up with it. I hope it's okay. But I owe these people a thank you. We owe these people a thank you. Donna and Marie and Fran. I hope we see you again one day. Somewhere on the road. You never, never know. And this is me, Sean, from Flipping the Bird, saying, remember, there are good people out there. See you next time.